A boring website is the worst kind of website and you don't want your designs to be boring. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to move away from old boring web design that looks like this and start creating rich, engaging web experiences that look like this. Are you ready for the secret? It's mouse parallax effects that bring in really cool, immersive experience. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. I think we can agree that this example of a website is really, really boring. And it doesn't even have to do with just the bad design, the bad layout, the bad color choices, but a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's just really, really static. There's nothing engaging. There's nothing immersive about this. This one is a little bit better maybe on the design front, but again, really flat, really static, nothing really interesting happening. This one is probably the best designed out of all of them, the usage of color here. But again, it's just really flat. It's really boring. And so let's talk about how to introduce a really cool effect a simple mouse parallax effect. You can do it and turn it on inside of something like Wix Studio very quickly. Before we do that and actually build one out, let me show you some really good examples of this mouse parallax effect. Now, you could look at this and say, hey, it's a great design. Maybe it's not the greatest design, but as I start to move my mouse around, notice how I just get some immersive kind of motion. This parallax effect, we have different items moving at different speeds. I have my background moving. My moon is moving and all of this is tied to me actually moving my hand around on the mouse. You can see me moving my hand from left to right and that's what's getting me this effect. This is the mouse parallax effect that brings just some life to your designs, makes it really, really cool. Here's another really fun implementation of this. This is another mouse parallax effect. As I move my mouse, the eyeballs, the head, and even the word parallax is actually tracking my mouse. Just gives it some life. It's all of a sudden really fun. Doesn't really matter what this design is for or what we're selling on this website. This whole thing just makes a lot of sense and feels really, really cool. It gets, makes me happy. Here's another great example. We have a bunch of CDs right here. Like just a fun experience. You should be able to just kind of like wow your users when they hit the site and you should be able to do it without implementing lots of code or making things really, really difficult. Here's another really fun example. This is like Alice in Wonderland, like super fun. All my little like mouse pointers up here are moving at different speeds. The elements here, even the text is wiggling and moving. So the question becomes, how do we do this? Well, luckily Wix Studio just released a feature where you're able to implement these interactive mouse parallax animations with basically just a click. So let's jump in. I have a website that I'm building here inside of Wix Studio for a cryptocurrency project. You can see I can preview the site and it's got a little bit of like animation or video in the background, which is really, really cool. And I scroll down, we got a lot of cool stuff happening, but I would even like to add that extra little bit of spice onto this site by adding some parallax. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to edit site, go back there, and I'm gonna click on an element. I'm gonna open up my layers in the left-hand panel and I have the contextual panel open over here on the right. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just unhide a bunch of elements that I had out there on my canvas, right? So a bunch of other 3D elements that are kind of like popping up, they're showing up there. And now I'm gonna start animating these 3D elements. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that big phone image that we have there. I'm gonna head over to the right-hand panel. I'm gonna move up to the animation and the effect area. And then there's a lot of things you could do here in animation effect. We can add hover, click and scroll, looping effects if we want to, but I'm gonna add a mouse effect. I'm just gonna add a single mouse effect. And as we kind of hover over these, we get an example, right? It requires a mouse cursor and we just choose which one we want. How about a simple 3D tilt? You can do things like it can be tracking, and we can kind of adjust all these animations, but why don't we do a simple 3D tilt for the phone and we'll adjust the animation when we do that. We actually get a little bit of a preview of what that's gonna look like. Why don't I just take down the velocity a little bit? It's a bit wild, right? And take down the perspective a little bit so I get a little less wiggle. That feels pretty good to me. So I like that 3D tilt quite a bit. I'm gonna go back up. And this time I'm gonna grab the uh, sphere that I have, kind of like covering the B from the word by. We're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna add in this time something like tracking. Why don't we adjust that animation and I start to see as I move my mouse around, it's tracking my mouse. Now maybe I want a little less distance from my mouse. 
Maybe we want a little less velocity, so the whole thing is a little slower, a little less intense. We could do all of that, bring velocity way down, or you can make it go way up, whatever you want. Here we go. That seems pretty good to me. So now what I'm gonna do is just go through and add some mouse parallax to all the different effects so the whole thing kind of moves as separate units, but it's all really, really intentional. Let's jump in and do that. All right, and there we have it. We've just added a little bit of parallax motion here. It's not a lot. We added a repeating or looping kind of breathing animation to our main phone. But when we load, we get this fun animation in the back and there's some interactivity with my mouse and my cursor as I move over it. This just brings a level of richness and motion, fun and immersion to this page that just wouldn't exist without this mouse parallax feature. That's how easy it is to implement some mouse parallax effects on your website, making them a little bit less boring. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you know when more web design and web design business videos come out. And if you're looking for more content right away, take a look at this video or that video and I'll see you later.